Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy, Retro Hero, back doing another non-sports show and tell. This one's number 61. In today's episode, we're talking about the pack attack. What is the pack attack, you might ask? It is a combination of late night eBay purchasing and FOMO. That's what the pack attack is. What's come in the Retro Hero mailbox over the last few weeks? I've got some great non-sport card sets, some wax packs, a lot of cool things to talk about. Let's not forget about that 1,006 subscriber giveaway. Everything you see back there is part of the Retro Hero 1,006 subscriber milestone. And shh, we're almost there. So that should be going out really soon. If you're tuning in for Garbage Pail Kid content, no worries. That will be back in the next week or two. I've got some really cool additions to the collection, some Valentine's Day sets. We're going to go sketch card hunting in those. In the meantime, why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Welcome back. Let's jump right into the pack attack. The pack attack is 50 packs of entertainment trading cards and it's an awesome value. How do I know? Because it tells me right on the box. Awesome value. What is the pack attack? Well, there is a company called the Fairfield Company and this was done in the late 90s, uh, 97, I believe. Yeah, 1997, the Fairfield Company, Fairfield, Iowa. The Fairfield Company is still around today. They're in Des Moines. If you want to check out the Fairfield Company, they have a Facebook page. It's awesome if you ever want to read through some of the customer comments for some good laughs. Uh, what the Fairfield Company is, is they are a... Uh, supply purchaser of junk wax stuff, uh, entertainment stuff. They they put together grab bags that you can find at your local drugstore or discount store. They do some Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. They're typically the thing that you buy and you open up and you're really disappointed in it. That is who the Fairfield Company is. And they didn't disappoint in the 90s too, man. They, uh, they threw together 50 packs of junk wax or junk foil entertainment cards. But these are actually Actually really difficult to come by. People bought these and opened them up. I don't see them a lot. Um, in fact, I haven't seen them in a long time on eBay. I did see one on Etsy. It was around $100. And to me, that is way too expensive to pay $2 a pack for this, even with the Fairfield packaging. But uh, I picked this up for $38. Uh, everyone out there, non-sport card on a budget. Uh, that was the offer that I made for the seller. Um, what comes in here? So you've got 95 Fleer. Ah, uh, Real Monsters, uh, 96 X-Men by Fleer, Judge Dredd because he's the law, uh, Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, Trash Can Trolls, American Bandstand, got uh, 95 Fleer, Fox Kids Network, Spider-Man, VR, Troopers, horrible set, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, some golf cards and some Stargate cards. I believe this is like ABC, All My Children, Soap Opera, Hook. Um, there's some Justice League cards in here, it looks like. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There is a listing out there that'll tell you everything that you will get in there because, uh, or get in here because these are, are all packaged the same. Just what's in front may, may vary and what's in back may vary. But, uh, this is a really welcome addition to my collection. Again, you know, a little FOMO when I purchased this, but, uh, I don't have it. Now I do and, and I don't plan on opening it. If you do pick one up, just look for the staples. It does come with four staples here to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with. If it's been torn open and re-stapled in different spots, you, you probably don't want to pick that up. Although, uh, I don't know who would open this up and, and take anything out of here. Uh, maybe the trash can trolls have some small value, but there's there's not a whole lot of value to this junk, junk wax error type set. Um, all right, so set that aside. Moving right along to uh, Max Headroom. Um, Criterium Racer on YouTube. I'll, I'll put some of his information here before. Lee picked up some Max Headroom cards, and he was talking about uh, the fact that these are pretty darn rare and, and hard to come by. Um, Max Headroom was 
85, 86, it was a movie and uh, for the BBC. And then it came to Cinemax in 86 or 87, and then maybe 87, 88, it came to ABC. Um, essentially, Max Hedrum was kind of a culture phenomenon in the 80s. Um, so this is a sealed wax pack, uh, not in the best condition, but it is sealed. The gum is, is not loose, but it is in one piece. So sealed wax pack. In addition to that, I do have the full set of Max Headroom, including the foil cards, which uh, are not very difficult to come by. But uh, so essentially what this uh, made this television show so great was um, Max Headroom himself. The movie talked about he was a reporter that was killed and then his evil TV station, Channel 23, turned him into this persona where, you know, he was taking over people's minds on television, but was what was really cool about this television show uh, back in 1986 was uh, it looked like it was done as computer graphic animation. And in the 80s, that was, you know, unbelievable. But what this was, he, he's a real actor and they just put prosthetics prosthetics on him and makeup and made it look like he was a computer generated actor. So that's what made this just really, really cool. Um, so the actor did this all in makeup and prosthetics and, and his own voice. So whenever he, 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 he did that, that was, that was him, the actor. So really cool set. I won't go through all this, but uh, the foil cards and backs here for Max Headroom. Um, this is a really welcome set to my collection. Um, pretty nostalgic for this. And, and keep in mind how popular he was. He even did Coke commercials, if I remember correctly, in the 80s uh, when Coke did that turbacle where they changed the formula to new Coke. Uh, so it tastes more like Pepsi. So anyway, uh, Max Headroom said, oops, let's put the wax pack in there. And that is a very welcome addition, again, to my collection. Uh, moving on, I've got uh, a full trading card set, uh, the Bionic Woman 1976. Um, these cards are in, in really, really nice condition. Um, the Bionic Woman was a good television series. Um, also, The Million Dollar Man, essentially same type of concept. But uh, for 1976 cards, I thought, wow, um, these are in, in really, really good condition. Now, I say that, and I picked uh, one with a... Looks like a little Nick corner there, but uh, regardless, not not cut the back, but that best, but that was uh, you know what you can expect from from tops in in the eighties or seventies. So, trading card set, uh, uh, Bionic Woman, and a welcome edition. I do have a wax pack for this coming, but uh, I, I it's not here yet. So. Uh, moving right along, uh, Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver. Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. One of my favorite all-time television shows, Leave It to Beaver. I've probably seen every episode 10 times. Um, I was bidding on boxes for a while on eBay, and I just keep losing. I believe these are, again, Pacific. Um, I think in 90, maybe 91. I could be wrong on that, but uh, Leave It to Beaver. They're 10 black and white trading cards. And so I picked up a pack just for my collection, uh, more, mostly because I, I love Leave It to Beaver. It's a great television show, and this is a very welcome addition to my non-sports collection. And then uh, what else we got here? We've got... Uh, uh, v trading cards. You saw I, I do have a sealed box of V trading cards, and now I just picked up the actual set with a uh, wax wrapper. Uh, v was a wonderful mini television series in the 80s. Um, have fond memories. You know, my dad was sitting in his lazy boy chair watching this, and I was laying on the family room floor playing with my GI Joe guys, uh, watching the V mini television series play out. So let's see if I can find a, a picture of maybe the, the aliens. Um, they were in human mass and oh, there we go. So human mass and then they were lizard people underneath the human mass. Now, I know this looks silly. So there's some 80s hair, right? Uh, but uh, man, it was awesome in the 80s. I thought everything about this television series was was just absolutely amazing. So one of the bad ladies there. The, the uh, movie television series trading card set. And again, a welcome addition to my collection. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, picked up a box of Rad Dudes. Um, I did not have a full box. So now I have a full box of Rad Dude trading cards, 36 packs. 
Um, in addition to that, they also threw in the collector set of Rad Dudes, and that's still sealed, as you can see. Um, collector set, again, Pacific. Um, it's their first series, and it's hot, 106 cards. Um, it says it's 11 bucks. I actually picked up uh, the wax box, the series, and an extra wax pack for $9.99 on eBay, so less than the $11, but uh, still a welcome addition to my collection. What do Rad Dude trading cards look like, you might ask? Well, they're, they're amazing, so uh, they're a high-gloss type trading card, and, and here we go. So there's Ra Ra Rachel. And uh, you can tell with the colors, man, they were some early 90s trading cards. There's Big Buff Brian. He's the wrestler, right? Kicking Kevin. Kevin's the awesome soccer player. Snowboard Sean. Snowboard Sean doing some tricks. Wave Rip and Ray. Because, you know, surfer guys in the 90s. Uh, there's another Ra Ra Rachel. Oh, another Big Buff Brian. Another kicking. All right, how about this? Uh, remote control Craig running from his remote control trading car or his car. Craig, ah, help dude. My remote control car has gone totally berserk. It's trying to run me down. Craig's friends, run Craig. It's catching up to you, Craig. My remote control car, it just blew up my, oh man. All right, so remote control Craig, that was awesome. And there's video mad Vince. So that's what you get with rad dude trading cards. Some 90s colors and high gloss trading cards. I can't imagine these being too popular, but uh, still hey, a welcome addition to my collection. All right, uh, not going to go through all these. I just wanted to kind of show them off as pickups. Um, this is a full 200 card set of 007 Volume 1 uh, through, I think, Volume 5. Um, would have been a lot for me to put all this together, but uh, Mark Allen uh, was so kind to hook me up with a huge set of uh, 007 and Sean Connery years for the movie trading cards. Um, Mars Attacks, these are the extra wide movie trading cards um, from the actual movie itself. Uh, there's a wrapper. Uh, Mars Attack, great movie. Tim Burton directed this. Um, if you remember, Tim Burton was going to do uh, Dinosaurs Attacks and Jurassic Park came out. So instead, they did the 60s sci-fi cards, Mars Attacks. And there's a scene from the movie, all the burning cattle running through town. Um, I enjoyed the movie. It's, it's probably not the best movie, but it was definitely worth the watch. I've actually seen it a couple of times. These, again, are scene depictions uh, from the movie. And uh, Mars Attacks, so the movie trading cards. Uh, these white cards are, are very difficult to display, a lot like the Godzilla cards. So um, I just put them in these team bags, and uh, I, I really don't know what to do with them from there. They, they don't really fit into any boxes, but uh, still a very welcome addition to my collection. Um, in addition, a buddy of mine just threw me out some old Wild West cards for, I believe these are 60s. Um, you know, I'm not sure who made them, but... Uh, and then, we, of course, we've got uh, some, this is actor cards. What is it? Robert Vaughn uh, cards from the 60s as well. Um, so I've got a couple of those Robert Vaughn cards. Um, a few other trading cards. These are um, gum incorporated. Um, I don't know if they're Goody gum, but 1938. Uh, they are war depictions. So they're not in the best of shape. You can see there that uh, the ship is sinking, what the sailors are doing. We've got some Japanese planes there and the Great Wall of China. Um, if you can read back here, typically they say, 19, yep, not copyright 1938 gum incorporated. Um, again, not in the best condition, but uh, I, I, I never see these. So I'm pretty stoked whenever I can get a few of these. And then you've got some of uh, the early era cigarette cards. What are these? Early 20s, maybe 1910, 1911. And you would get one of these cards in uh, your pack of cigarette. There is a hunter being mean to his dog for... Um, I don't know what reason, but uh, how horrible. Turkish trophies, cigarettes, why pay more? Um, and then, of course, you have some animals there. So this is probably the only way that uh, people in, in the early 10s and 20s uh, could actually see any of these exotic animals. So 
they'd buy their however the cigarettes came back then and you would get a trading card so not in the best condition but uh, still a very welcome addition for my non-sports collection all right that's pretty much it for today that's that's my pickups over the last couple of weeks um, really enjoyed sharing this all with you especially the pack attack um, pack attack 50 entertainment packs the awesome value how cool is that um, stick around for the next video that will be garbage pail kids show and tell and we have a couple valentine sets we're going to break open and do some sketch card hunting again don't forget about that 1006 subscriber giveaway um, should be going out here real soon thanks for joining me today hope everyone is doing well out there talk to you again soon bye